Brought us through two here, July 30th, 2015. Um, I don't make videos like I say I do, because y'all don't care if you guys want me to make more videos about, like, giving you spoilers, giving you updates on Big Brother. Let me know in the comments down below. If you don't let me know, I'm going to take that as a, you hate my videos. I think to Robin Rob 2 for liking my week update videos that I post of the recap they show on Thursday night of the whole week. With that said, I am very pissed off with what's happening this week. I can't find any information to find out what the heck is going on, why Vanessa did what she did, why I was getting so irritated with watching live feeds about this, and live feeds, and then watching the show, and all she kept talking about was, I'll send you this, I'll send you that, I'm so sick of Austin, I'm sick of him lying, all he does is lie, 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 I can't stand him, I'm going to back door him, I gotta get the glass in my hand. Then, then why is Jason on the block? I hear you want the whole episode talk about Jason and why he needs to go up. Then again, you let people talk you into shit because I mean, you shouldn't have went to him and talked to him about his life until after he's on the block. Because now that he's not on the block, he could spurn his way out of lying to you some more and telling you, hey, I'm going to put up, I'm going to put up so-and-so and so-and-so. And -so. Anyways, I'm going to let a slideshow go of Jason because I'm just upset that Jason's on the block. But anyways, so, so like, basically she's yelling at Austin saying, you did this with Jason, you lied, blah, 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 and now I'm pissed, and now you're we're thinking about putting you up. Yeah, of course he's going to lie his way out and say, no, 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 I did that as strategy so that if he ever becomes his race, he doesn't put me up on the block and you and everyone else. Blah, blah, blah. I got it. And then the diary room is all like, I got to fix it so that I don't go on the block. I cannot go on the block. And then you figured out it's not working with Vanessa. You go and talk to Clay and Shelly knowing if you can get into their ear and get them to believe you and your eyes, then you will put that in the message ear and be the little birdie and then she'll believe all the lies because you believe right. I mean, look at Audrey. First time Shirley was H for H, she didn't put Shirley, uh, she didn't put Audrey on the block because of the fact Audrey was up is an ally and you can trust her, she's with us, and blah, blah, blah. Until she lied to you for the 50th time and you finally got a brain and let the light click in it, going ding, 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 get rid of her. And that's when you do it. Does that need to happen with Austin too? I mean, you guys are all like, Austin's on our side and, and he's not going to put one of us up, even though we're mad at him. And we need to send him home for lines, but we need to keep him in this game because he's a vote. He's a vote. Come on, get rid of Austin. Because when the opportunity comes in, and when the opportunity comes in, when he becomes HRH, one of y'all is going to be going home. Y'all think you're not, but y'all are going to. And you need to fix yourself. So putting Jason on the block, if you guys saw his face last night, he was sick. And in the guy room, he even said, if I get to stay in this house, Vanessa, I'm gutting for your ass. And you think, really mean things, which you can go see on my Twitter, real OEA only, because I retweeted some of those things. And I have a list of called Surviving Big Brother on there that you can read. Everything you need to about Big Brother, if you know someone that talks about Big Brother and that should be on that list, let me know and I'll check out their Twitter and add them to it. Or you can go on to Surviving Big Brother and talk to me there on my group page. Totally up to you. 
But uh, she just pisses me off though. The whole time she gets the same. I hate Austin, blah blah blah. And then doing the veto thing, um Liz doesn't she says she doesn't like Austin, but I think she does and she doesn't want to admit it to anybody because Austin kissed her and she's grossed out by yes, but she says she's just using him, but she likes him more of a friend than a part I don't know. But when she, they Vanessa finally told Liz what Austin did and was going to get rid of Julia, she she acts like she's all pissy and upset, but yet she still chose Austin to take Austin to the steakhouse, to the outback steak thing that she wants. I would have been like, no, I'm going to show him. I'm not going to invite him. I'm going to write somebody else. And then when he gets all pissed and wonders why, then, I don't know. I don't know if it was a strategic thing. Then, I don't know. Nobody asked her. But it was so funny during that whole stick up thing. Um, Shirley was like, I'm bored. I'm so bored. Like, she can't live without clay. She tells me that she's more into clay than she's letting people know. And by saying she's bored and can't live in this house without clay, that makes people want... She should have shut her fucking mouth, because that makes her wonder, hmm, let's break them up, get her out, or get clay out, and then she's going to be moping around this house, and then she won't be winning comp. Or even care about the game anymore, because she'll be missing clay so much. I mean, I bet you anything when she gets out of the house, she's going to be like, Clay, I need you. You need to move to my pla my town, and blah, blah, blah. And Clay might be like, nah, I was just using you for the game. Goodbye. But we don't know how Clay feels because we didn't get to see how Clay feels. And it's weird that James picked Clay, and it was so funny because Meg's all like, James, if he knows this good for him, he should pick me because I'm a dizzy little blonde dummy and and I don't care about this game, I just care about love and stuff that's not even relevant to the game and you pick me and I'll we'll make out and have a great kiss and then James gets picks play and she gets all pissy and goes, Oh you pick Clay, well when he doesn't work out in bed, don't come Crying in my bed all sad, not me again. Like, it's not all about you. Okay, Megan, it's a game. Maybe you chose him for a game strategy. Ever thought of that? People do it in survival all the time. Like, you're so dumb. Why are you in the house? You need to get voted out and leave. Because you're, you don't even care about the game. You're just like, I'm a dizzy down, dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Like, what the fuck? So anyway, with that said and done, I am going to get going. I will talk to you deep later. It's just, ugh. Oh. Tonight we'll find out if Jason goes on. If you want to know my reaction, please go to Surviving the Difficult Case to get my reaction on it. I won't, for the first half of the of Big Brother, I won't be done saying it where my laptop is and I don't want to drag it upstairs for like 30 minutes and then back down because I have to record the graphic unfortunately and then tomorrow night or and then I will be upstairs watching this big brother and for 30 minutes and then I'll come back down for 30 minutes and talk and then continue doing the notes for big brother so if you want to help me out, which I know you don't give a fuck and you're not going to fucking do it, but if you give a fuck, go to my channel, go to my good page, I'll start a post, and y'all can write on it, telling me, telling me what's going on in the game and whatever, and then when I get back, I will think I can finish out, plus you can also talk to me during the show and things like that.
missing that pope. So, but then again, that ain't gonna happen because y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all don't care. Anyways, I'm gonna get going and I will. Uh, yeah, I noticed that we haven't done any more takeovers. Now that I threw that up, but they stopped the takeovers. Like <coughs> each week they had takeovers. Now all of a sudden there's no more takeovers. Like what the f what's up with that? Why did we only have a couple of takeovers and a few takeovers and that's it? Like um, twins should be coming back tonight and then God knows what happens. And it'll be hard to tell these days. But anyways, bye.